here are five things that I wish I knew when I started my PhD. So nobody was there to tell me these five things and how important they are. And that is why once I finished my PhD, I am telling you beforehand such that you can plan accordingly and it makes your life better. Point number one, you need to take charge of your project from the first year of your PhD. Take charge of your project as soon as possible. That means engage intellectually, start thinking about the project, intellectually contribute towards the project, design the experiment. Don't wait for your PI to design an experiment for you and you blindly follow that. Sometimes what I've seen that, okay, you have something in mind, you don't put your views forward and you blindly follow what the PI says or what the senior says in that, in that case. But in PhD, it's not that difficult to think something and basically put that thing into a work. So one should practice doing this. This would give you a sense of independence and independence is something that you want in your PhD. Quicker you can gain that, better it's for you. Believe me on that. Second point, think about your finances from the first year of your PhD. I have created several videos on finances during PhD. It is damn important because if you flank on your finances, nobody is going to save you. Sab log to bade bade baat karenge. Tumhare paas paisa nahi hai, wo tumhara problem ho jayega kuch din baad. Nahi tumhara PI tumko save karega, nahi tumhara senior chaha ke bhi kuch kar paega. That is why you need to have a solid financial plan during your PhD period. It's a five year. You can invest in many things. You can invest your time, skills and existing money to gain more money. And that is important. I wish I knew that. So I do another investment. It happens a lot in five years. So click on the i button on video pe click to learn more about how you can have a side income during your PhD. Point number three. Not focusing on your speaking skill or communicating skill. Now, I always thought that I need to be a good researcher. I need to be good in bench, in wet lab work, and that would give me all the freedom and that would make me a very good researcher. But sometimes as a researcher, you need to convey your point. You need to tell your ideas. You need to sometimes defend your ideas against uh, contradictory views. So that is why you need to have a good speaking skill. It's not that you need to have, uh, you need to speak fancy English. It's all about how you can logically defend your ideas, how you can criticize others' ideas in a constructive way, obviously. So try this. Try going to a, a conference or let's say a colloquium and ask questions. If you never ask question, this habit would never come to you. And when you really need to ask question, then you would hesitate a lot. I have faced this and I think I have tried and I got better a little bit on that aspect. Point number four, you need to apply for several conferences, workshops, seminars, skill development uh, sessions, all of these aspects. Because these are something that would enrich your CV. An enrichment of CV doesn't happen in a month or in six months. It happens slowly, gradually. That is why try to participate in each of these conferences. First, you might not have a lot of work to present, but you can get inspired. You can talk to people. You can start your networking in those conferences. I wish I knew, bef I, I would have known before because for two years in, in my journey towards PhD, I haven't applied to anywhere. Yes, in later part of my PhD, I did apply to many places, but I, but I wished I should have done it before. Point number four, point number five, sorry. So finally, you need to uh, think about developing your soft skills. Soft skills means A, writing skills. Everybody is not born with good writing skills. Coming from a vernacular media, I know how hard it, it is for me to write good English. I had grammar issues. I had many other issues while writing English and if I didn't practice, it would have been very difficult. And there were many instances in my PhD where I could understand things, but I could not convey it towards my, uh, to my thesis committee or my advisor. That is why having a good communication skill in terms of English is really important in my opinion.
writing skill is also something that comes slowly gradually and and you get better with practice so you have to start writing let's say write your results in format of a like academic writing let's say try to engage yourself in writing review papers book chapters this would enhance your writing skill later on you need them while let's say applying for a grant you need to have good writing skill while applying for a travel grant as well you need to have good writing skill and the sixth thing which is the most important thing which i learned later on focus on publishing something because at the end of the day your degree or that piece of paper doesn't matter people would judge you based on your publication let's say you apply for a conference abroad and you want a travel grant if you have a publication good publication it would really be easy to get that grant i got several grants like this which i have uh, which i have uh, made a video on so you can quickly click on that video and you can also learn how you can possibly do it but at the end of the day you will be judged on your publication uh, quality your work quality not exactly on that piece of paper the degree so i hope this five or six things are really important and you would try to uh, follow this i hope this video adds some value uh, add some value in your uh, career if you are starting a phd please keep these six things in mind and see you in next video please share this with your friend they need to know because I wish जब मैं start किया था लोग ऐसे video बना रहे होते और मुझे मुझे पता चलता पहले से जब पहले से पता चलता है तो prepare करने का time रहता है For me मैं तो मतलब literally मेरे को कोई बताने का था ही नहीं जितना सीखा गलती करके सीखा Anyway, see you in next video.